Hey, fish bros. And, uh, today I'm gonna be just showing you guys an update on what's going on in the tank. It's been a, some time since I've actually made a video. Uh, it's ridiculously cold outside. Um, I got an external heat fan thing. What was it called? A heat dish running outside here. And uh, right now it's heating the tank at a 70, 75 I'd, I'd want to say. Which is not bad. I mean, it's going to keep the fish alive. That's And the plants. I uh, woke up one morning um, to check the uh, temperature and check the temperature side and it was down at like 50 degrees I'm surprised these guys did not die because usually I'm at like running at 80 degrees um this guy's been doing some growing sorry for the glare it was a little clear yeah this guy's been doing a little growing over there again uh the dwarf fair grass when I was doing the water change lost some runners and a few strands but there is there are runners running out again uh, if you see that nice little green strand coming out that's a nice runner this guy's been devastated by the weather but he's trying to bounce back you see those nice green leaves coming back uh, that one leaf got devastated just ridiculous out here and as far as the fish go they're doing pretty well um and water heaters they couldn't really do much in this weather it's cold and um what was i gonna say i don't really know what to do this video with. Um, uh, i'm thinking of getting new fish a couple of new fresh fish like um Maybe panda loaches or a clown loach. Even though this tank is pretty small for a clown loach, clown loach, I'm gonna move it sooner or later. I when it grows at least. I really want a clown loach. And so, because these guys are pretty nice, they're growing nice and big. Uh, and this molly again. This guy has been taken in tow because of the shifting temps. And fortunately, he's alive. Um, last time we talked about algae. Actually, we should be talking about fertilizers now. <clears throat> what I use is a potting soil for this thing. And that's how I got like algae in the substrate or underneath the substrate. Also got nice growth going when the root hits the ground. I mean this this potting soil. That's when it starts growing like crazy. Oh, like this guy over here. He's completely rooted, and he just can't stop growing. He'll just keep growing. Uh, this guy too just regenerating leaves like crazy sucking up all that so, um, soil and minerals uh, this guy I think is finally getting it because I see the runners coming up again um, and then those little background plants that were there back back a couple videos videos ago I kind of like buried them because they kept being uprooted and I need those roots to reach the substrate first the soil substrate first so they can actually grow and like keep firm they're not there or you can't see them because they're completely buried completely buried um but either than that that's basically it um fertilizers there's soil substrate you can use there's also liquid ferts like a uh, sea chem um excel flourish and all those lines brand lines but uh they're a bit pricey and they do work though and then you also have those uh root tabs uh root tabs 
you can place under your substrate sand or gravel you just put them under your substrate and then uh, I think how it works is when a root hits that uh, tab it gets a lot of supplements and I've seen a lot of different uh, root tabs some were a bit more exclusive to other countries than others a lot of people get them from like Germany I'm not sure if they sell them here in the US if like in your in the local places but online they do other than that it's basically just um, root tabs um, liquid fertilizer uh, soil based fertilizers basically and soil substrate I have soil substrate so my plants are doing well I'm planning to get some liquid in there liquid fertilizers so my plants can grow quicker other than that um, that's how it is that's just what's up people uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and that's what's up people have a good Sunday